Okay, let's take a crack at number four from your test, take home test on Friday. And number four, simply make glutaric acid using ethyl acetate. Uh, you were given a few hints. You can use uh, any alkyl iodides with one carbon atom or fewer. You can use any inorganic inorga reagents you like. Uh, you will need to hydrolyze some of your ester and you will need to use one hell of a reaction in your multi-step synthesis. So there was a number of hints there that's trying to help you out with. Uh, and don't forget that you had been given the practice test the day before where you did basically the same reaction, uh, except that it wasn't glutaric acid, it was a diketone. So we'll, we'll take a look at it. Let's go into ChemDraw. This is our task. Take ethyl acetate and make glutaric acid. So what can we do? How can we make it? Uh, well, the first thing we said you could do was uh, hydrolyze your ethyl acetate. If you hydrolyze it under either acid or basic conditions, you're going to end up with acetic acid and ethanol. Now, you are also told uh, to do use one hell of a reaction. Uh, that was a hint as well. And I ended up giving you the hint that uh, oh, there we go. So I ended up giving you a hint from to take a look at the question from the other day. And let's take a look at that. The question that you had the day before in the practice exam. And here's the solution. look at this. This is almost identical except that we have carbons here instead of acetic acids, instead of uh, hydroxyl groups. These carbons come from here. So if we convert these into oxygens, we can do the same thing. So if we start off with this react, this with an ET here, ethyl group, oops, O-E-T. This is the malonic acid ester synthesis. So you have to somehow get to malonic acid, ester, okay? So first we have to make malonic acid. So let's get rid of all of this. And we're going to do the same sequence of reactions. So that part's not so bad. We have acetic acid, and we talked about acetic acid. If we could make this anion, we would simply make that anion, throw two equivalents of that anion in, anion in with one equivalent of methyl diiodide, we get our product. But that is impossible to make. We can't make, we can't make that. But we can think about how would we make malonic acid. And this is where the, the other hint came in, the hint about uh, alpha halogenation of carboxylic acid, the hellvol hard zielinski reaction. If we take phosphorus tribromide and bromine in with carboxylic acid, we can make the alpha bromo acid. We can do the same thing with, with chlorine. So we can make that alpha chloro acid. How does that help us? And let's do that. Uh, we know we can do it now. Oops. Let's see it late. going up there. There we are, right there. So we can make our alpha chloro acid, but we have to make malonic acid. 
How does that help us? Well, I also told you that you can use the internet. And where, what do you do when you don't know what to do on the internet? You use the Google. And if we put in malonic acid, what do we get? Well, we get a bunch of stuff. This thing, Wikipedia. Let's take a look at Wikipedia. Look at that malonic acid preparation. Oh, there it is there. I don't know why it's uh, doing that. But look at that. From alpha chloroacetic acid, we can make malonic acid. So we can get that right from the Google, right from Wikipedia. Even though this is a little weird on my screen right now. But let's go back to ChemDraw. And we can make their, our malonic acid from alpha chloro. Acetic acid. Look at that. We take the alpha chloroacetic acid. We react it with sodium carbonate. Uh, that's going to pull the two anions the anion off here, uh, but we have uh, our cyanide, which is just gonna displace this chloride and form our alpha cyanoacetic acid, which we then just hydrolyze. You guys know how to do that. Uh, and we end up with our malonic acid. Then all we have to do, we made some meth ethanol before, so we can make the Ethyl ester, we, we could have used the ethyl ester actually, but we'll go ahead and make the ethyl ester. And now all we have to do is uh, the same synthesis. Only we will swap out this. Oops, we will swap out our acetoacetic ester for this, okay? And all of those swap out. Look at that. Oops, that's not quite right. There we go. Now that's pretty complicated synthesis. As it turns out, there's other ways to do this as well. Uh, a simple way to do this is to use a directed place and condensation. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of this. Uh, there is another way to do this that is easier, but as it turns out, it wouldn't be the synthesis of choice because it would be more expensive. We react this with lithium diisopropyl amide at minus 78 degrees C. What does that give us? Well, it's a non-nucleophilic base. It will give us this anion. 
Okay. So let's just put the number two in front of a few places. Let's put it in front of that. Put it in front of that. Let's put it in front of that. Let's take this, put it down here and put an arrow under it. There we go. Now all we have to do is hydrolyze it. Doesn't matter, we would probably use uh, base followed by acid. Followed, there we go. Oops, yeah. That's another synthesis. That one appears simpler, but it would be more expensive. Uh, this is the one I kind of gave you hints towards. And that's how we can do that one. 